Okay, so today we're going to be trying the uh, silver sharpie trick on a scratched uh, Fujifilm silver camera. Uh, so here's my X-T3, beautiful little camera, except for this one huge gouge there. Now, I'm typically all for battle scars and stuff, but this one looks really bad and distracting, and I want to get rid of it if I can. So, um, before I take the risk on coloring that part in, I'm gonna uh, perhaps try it on a safer spot on a different camera that I've scratched. This area here. This part I don't really care about, so if I mess it up with a Sharpie, no big deal. the spot right there. Let's see what happens if I start dabbing at it. I'm gonna blot off the excess. Uh, that's what it looks like now. Does it look better? I don't know about that, <laughs> to be honest. What do you think? And you know what, I missed missed the spot a couple times, so the mark is a lot bigger than I wanted it to be. Maybe I'm going to try some rubbing alcohol to get the excess off. One second. And, well, now that I've used the rubbing alcohol, it looks almost like it did before. So I'm going to try that again. Be more careful this time. Okay, have before blot off the extra. That's what it looks like now, perhaps a little bit better. Is it good enough now to try on my XD3? Maybe. First, let's try on this edge here. Got another one here, I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty. Pretty faint. Normally I wouldn't care about it, but this is a good spot to test it on. So here we go again. This little like corner right here. Did a pretty good job there. The Sharpie will mark um, the silver part of your camera, even the part that's not been scratched, so you, you want to be careful not to run over the good part of your finish. Yeah, I'd say that's a, a small improvement. You can definitely tell something's off if you look close, but it's from afar it's better. Okay. So you know what? I'm I'm satisfied with that. So now the actual uh, main event here. This guy. Alright. Ready? I'm gonna be real careful here. Don't wanna paint over the good spots. Here we go. Okay, that's 
what it looks like now. Honestly, you can still tell. You can still tell pretty easily. I'm gonna have to check the video to see if it looks better because I don't remember. Maybe it does look a little bit better, a little bit less noticeable, but you can still tell. Uh, probably because there's like actually actually like a gouge in there as well. So, yeah, that's what it looks like now. I think slightly better because the at least the gouge isn't dark, but you can still see it. The light reflect off of that scratch if you. Um, spin it around so not a perfect solution but maybe an improvement all right that's it thanks for watching you don't have to subscribe because i never do this so anyway see ya Actually, I had another go at it um, after I turned the camera off. So what I did was, um, well, here's what it looks like now. Um, what I did was color it in heavily with the Sharpie, and then since since there's like a gouge, like a groove in there, right? I took uh, I wet a uh, paper towel with some rubbing alcohol, and then I glided over the top, trying not to get into the groove, so that I only took uh, the sharpie off the part that's not gouged right and then the the sharpie that's inside the groove remained and it kind of filled in that that dark spot there so now i think it looks quite a bit better um of course it's still visible but uh at least it's not as dark as it used to be so um, overall i'm pretty happy it's about as good as i could have expected right anyway yeah that's it